What is up, everybody? Welcome to this new video of TechExpress. I'm going to be showing you how to drop shipping into WooCommerce. Well, WooCommerce actually is a plugin from WordPress, but it's actually really, really helpful to get started with making some drop shipping. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how we can get started. The very first thing you want to do is to go into the WooCommerce.com and get started with your actual own account. We first want to create our business, our store, our website, our online store, and then later on, you want to import a dropshipper supplier that can be helping us to import the products into our actual store. And then, just then, we can now start to dropshipping. So first of all, what I want to do is to sign in or sign up. Once you have successfully done that, it's going to be asking you which one best describes you. In our case, we want to get started with, I'm just starting my business. You can to continue and give your store a name. In our case, let's go for humans and which industry is your business in. Let's go for clothing and accessories. Where is your business located? I'm going to go and scroll all the way down and look out for the United States. So uh, just take your time, guys, to fill all this information based on what you want to look out for your store. Now here, launch in days, grow for use. We have the free trial of 14 days. Later on, it's going to be having an actual plan. If you want to check it out, the free version, I'm going to hit now into try WooExpress for free. And this one should be taking us directly into WordPress. As I just told you, WooCommerce is an actual plugin that works with WordPress. So um, the store is now being created automatically. And there we go. As you can see, we are now inside the WordPress section. If you want to install products, if you want to use WordPress totally for free, I can totally suggest you to use Pantheon. Now, Pantheon is going to be helping us to design, to develop and deploy our website really, really fast. And we don't have to pay for anything since all the plugins, uh, you need to have an actual active plan inside uh, WordPress in order to active that. So if I go and open this one inside Pantheon, I don't have to do almost anything. So creating an account here into Pantheon is actually really, really simple. You just need to log in. In my case, I'm going to connect with my Google account. Hit into connect. I choose my account and I choose into continue. Later on, what it's going to be asking is the name of your WordPress. And as you can see now inside Pantheon, you're going to be seeing the actual dashboard. So I can go here into sites. And as you can see here is an actual site that was created with WordPress. And we don't have to do absolutely anything else. So now that we are redirected from Pantheon into WordPress to have a free account, we wanted to add some products. So how can we add some products inside WordPress? If I focus here into the loved pod where I have the jetpack, the comments, the media pages, posts, and much more, you want to focus into the actual extensions. So here into extensions, I have the Woo extensions. I'm going to go in here. Now take your store to the next level with extensions. So I'm going to hit into browse extension. And this one should be taking us into the WooCommerce extension. So what I want to do is to look out for a supplier, a dropshipper supplier that can be helping me to get started with. So if I go all the way up and I'm going to go for drop shipping. It's going to be appearing lots of dropshipper suppliers, but you want it to enable here into the lip hot the one that says free because we don't want to pay like a lot for that, right? So as you can see, we don't have a free version inside WooCommerce. This is why I wanted to go into cjdropshipping.com. This one, once again, should be helping me to import products from my store, from my actual CJ dropshipping into my store. So creating an account uh, once again is actually really really simple use your google account your facebook account or your email account after you have verified that you now have the actual dashboard inside this dashboard what i want to do is to go and look out into the upper side that says authorizations as you can see we can sell cj shipping stuff with a lot and bunch of places we want to focus into woocommerce now here into woocommerce i hit into authorization i click into woocommerce this one should be sending us into the authorization. So as you can see, I don't have any store authorized yet. So let's do this manually. Let's go for add store, store type. Let's go for WooCommerce authorization. Let's go for default and the site URL should be the one that we have just generated to the WooCommerce. So let's go back here. And as you can see, I have my site here. So if I click in here, which this is the actual site, this is the link that was generated for me. So 
I'm gonna copy these linked of my store because actually it doesn't look actually that bad and I'm gonna paste it into my CJ dropshipping. Now later on, I'm gonna hit into authorize. Now what I need to do is to grant the access from WooCommerce into CJ dropshipping. Let's go into approve. Once I have successfully done that, it's gonna be appearing here. The authorization has now been successed. So really, really easy to do. Now what is left to be done is to find a product that we can add into our store so we can now start to sell. So um, I'm going to focus here into CA drop shipping. Let's go into the brand logo, click though. And you want to look out for a product that you want to list. I'm just going to be focusing into two of them. So let's go, for example, I'm going to go and look out for the three of this one. Let's go into add to QE, add to QE, and add to QE. So into my QE list, I have three products that I want to add into my store, right? So what I want to do is to get into list now. And this one should be sending me into this new pop-up section where I need to choose the listing price. Uh, then later on, I have this store, which is this one. The category, let's go for men, or let's go for uncategorized, and hit into listed now. While this has been successfully done, I'm gonna go back and do exactly the same thing with the other uh, products. So once again, I choose the category, I have to recommend the listing price because I wanted to sell this product for a little bit more than it has been listed and do exactly the same thing with the last product. Once I have successfully done that, I'm going to close this tab, close this tab once again, and now I'm going to go back inside my WordPress section and check it out my actual store. So if I go into my site and as you can see, here are the products that I have just listed. So I click the, and I should be seeing that automatically all my products should now be listed into my actual WooCommerce website. So check it out. We have the title, we have the image, the actual price that we chose. We can choose different colors, the description, the digital information, the reviews, and I have more related products that I can add into my actual store. So now what is left to be done is to go back into your actual WooCommerce of WordPress. I'm going to go back a little bit back. And once we are in here, what I want to do is to actually check it out the orders that is going to be appearing in here. So if you focus here into the orders, you'd be appearing here. Um, how many people just make the orders and I have to enable the automatic payments in order to receive the money from the selling stuff that I just chose from the CD drop shipping inside my WooCommerce store. And there you go, guys. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard to do this into WooCommerce. That's the reason why, guys, I just told you that it's not that hard to check it out, how you can do this um, with using Pantheon or having an actual paid plan from uh, your actual WordPress of WooCommerce. So um, here are the tools. You have the free version now, and you can now get ready to start doing some dropshipping. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools, how you can do some dropshipping with WooCommerce. And of course, by default, I'm saying I'm talking about the actual WordPress. So just finish to setting up your actual WooCommerce payment, and you are actually ready to get started to sell stuff here into WooCommerce. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, I will see you on the next video.